What is up, good people of YouTube? Welcome to Dopetopia. I am Dope, your idiot leader. This is Dope Comics, and we're back again. What can I say? I got a bunch of horror stuff to show off today. Bunch of just going all kinds of different directions. I mean, we got, I, well, you just have to wait and see what we got, but we got some cool stuff today. But before we get started, I'm excited because the, look at there, the Hulk meter is going up. This thing started, uh, looks like 628. And the day is 1110. And so, I mean, that just shows you if you want something bad enough and you're willing to save for it, you can do anything. So if you want a Hulk 1 or something like that, it's $10,000, $15,000, you can get it if you want it. You just got to save and you got to be laser focused. You know what I'm saying? So I could be more focused, but then I wouldn't have anything to show you on my show. So I still like to spend a little money here and there. I just don't spend a lot of money because most of my money is going to my Hulk 1. And uh, that's how we do things. Also... You know, we got a bunch of stuff going on today, so we might as well hop to it. People been asking me what I thought about this cannery. Cannery, Scott Snyder's amazing. I love uh, Dark Horse. This is good quality out of Dark Horse. I mean, uh, they use good paper for cannery. Maybe they're using the good, maybe they're rolling out the good paper because it's Scott Snyder. I don't know. But the quality of the materials is good. Super thick book, but it was $6. Yeah, $5.99. But there's a lot of dialogue in it, a lot of story. It's worth the six bucks. Wasn't my favorite thing I read this month. My favorite thing I read this month's Dracula. But uh, this was really good. Uh, I'm going to keep it on my, my little pull list for a while. We'll see where it goes. I might, you know, throw it off one day. But as for now, it stays. So if you ain't reading Canary, I give it about a, I don't know, six, seven. Anything over five is entertaining to me. So... It stays on the pull list for now, but we'll see how long it lasts. So, it could start going down like most stuff. Most stuff starts out hot and then goes south quick. This thing's starting out mild. So, we'll see what it does. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what else is going on? Phil's Fantastic Comics. Uh, what is his whole title? Phil Fantastic Comics and Art. Everybody's drawing these days. Huh? It's like, like, like the comic book community goes through... Uh, I don't know, changes. I remember like two years ago, everybody wanted to rap. Now everybody wants to do art. So, more power to you people. But anyway, if you're not uh, subscribed to Fieldtastic Comics and Art, subscribe him up. He had a question for the day. He's like, Sentry or Soups? And I hope you mean Sentry against like vegetable soups. Because if you're talking about soups, like Superman, Superman would destroy him. People, quit asking me about Superman. Superman against anybody. Superman would destroy him. Superman's the king. He's Elvis. I mean, Sentry got beat up by a Thor villain. I think he got ripped in half by Noel. What does that tell you? I mean, if he can't beat up a Thor villain, and I just said last week that Superman would bitch slap the shit out of Thor. Thor ain't nothing. I don't read Marvel, but Thor ain't nothing. I hate Thor and I hate the X-Men. And I just lost 15 views. But anyway, 15 subscribers. Did he just say he hated the X-Men? That motherfucker? Anyway, I don't like the X-Men and I don't like Thor. And the only thing good that I think Marvel's doing right now is Hulk. But, uh, you know, if they come out with something good, I'll read it. But they care too much about, you know. I think the fact that Marvel's owned by Disney now, they just, uh, they, they... Their shit's too kitty like they don't they don't try to make nothing edgy anymore. So it's hard for me to get on the Marvel bandwagon. So Sentry would lose. But you know, Sentry seems like a kind of a superhero if I was a Marvel guy, I would like, because he does a lot of cowardly things. I think he killed his sidekick at one time. Uh he he seen I know he was hooked on drugs and he made his wife's existence a living hell. I mean, he seems like a kind of guy I would kinda like to read about, but uh the new century wouldn't be worth the shit. I mean, look what Marvel just did to the Punisher. Piece of shit. I mean, look, if you're reading that Punisher from this week, all I've heard is bad shit about it where he's got laser guns now and it's not even Frank Castle. And he's got laser guns and the story sucks. And, you know, I feel bad for people reading the Punisher right now. You know? So, 
I won't be reading The Punisher right now. I haven't read The Punisher since they switched the skull. Because Marvel and Disney gave in to the woke movement. Up, oh, just lost another 15 uh, subscribers. Anyway, speaking of subscribers, we're close to 500. Well, we were before I started this show. Now we're about 100 away. But uh, I want to thank everybody for subscribing to the channel. When I first started this, I thought if I could get 100 people that like uh, nerdy shit that I like, uh, pre-code horror, uh, horror posters, mask. I thought there might, there's got to be some people out there that like nostalgia, that like all this stuff I like. And if I could find 100 dedicated people, we would have something. And the next thing I know, we're almost up to 500. I think we got 485 people right now. And I think y'all kind of can tell that you, to like my channel, you, you got to be, you got to have thick skin. Uh, you can't be a fruity booty. Uh, if you're offended easily, this is not the channel for you. We are the pineapple and ham pizza of the world. We're not for everybody. You know, if, if, if you're into, you know, pepperoni pizza, that's, that's equal to like Comic Tom or something. We're, we're not that here. We don't have all the cool uh, editing, and we don't have. We're a pirate comic station out of a shitty basement in the middle of Tennessee, with an iPhone and a broken bar stool it's sitting on. So, I mean, it is what it is. But I hope you're entertained, and I hope on here we try to have stuff that sounds like you know, like if you just go in your normal comic book shop and talk. That's what we do here. The shit ain't facts. Everything I say ain't facts. Everything I say, you know, might not be correct, but it is what it is. It's like comic talk in a comic book community, you know? I'm just keeping it real. I tell you what I think and what I like, and I lose as many views as I gain because of my big mouth. Because I am your idiot leader, you know? And uh, we keep it real. So... If you like keeping it real, and you're one of these guys that likes cool stuff like horror and actually cool comics, uh, stay tuned. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe today because we're going to get to 500, and that's all we'll probably get. We'll never see a thousand because we're pineapple pizza. But you know, we are the island of the Dopetopian broke toys. Uh, we all come together and make a, a. I have to admit, I have a lot of people comment on my shit. Uh, for the amount of people I have. And I love talking to all of you. But anyway, we got to get on with the damn show. Uh, we got a subscriber today. Uh, Fish Camp Danny Boy from uh, Grinder Switch, Tennessee, which I know very well. Fish Camp Danny Boy gave me an AOK. -okay. And if you don't know what AOK -okay is, an AOK -okay is an act of kindness. So Fish Camp Danny Boy, thank you for what you got me. I'm going to show everybody what you got me. I told him it would be hanging in Dopetopia. He got me a few things. One thing he saw that he thought I would like, and he is right, I do like it. Look at this. You see this? Friday the 13th, part three. The Dream Warriors. I hear docking every time I, 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 I even even see this sight. Docking just pops up in my head. You know, little George Lynch Dream Warriors, you know. So we will be hanging this in Dopetopia. Uh, and another thing he got me with his act of kindness before I show you this, the world's getting more and more dumb. So people need to move to Dopetopia and forget about the outside world because the world is fucking dumb right now. So much shit going on. And we're not going to talk politics or none of that shit because I come here to get away from it. But you know what I'm talking about. Everything's dumb out there. <sighs> My daughter's 15 years old. She's a teenager. She's got a permit. She's fixing to be able to drive so the world trust a 16-year-old girl with a two-ton vehicle that can do 100 mile an hour down the interstate. And at 15 years old, they trust her to have a job at Subway. Because you got to be 15 to work at Subway. But, you see this? It's a keychain. A damn keychain. He gave me this keychain, and I like this keychain. It's got a Friday mask on it. I mean, it's got Jason's mask on it, Friday 13th mask, and it's got blood on it. But do you see anything bad about that keychain? I don't either. But underneath my finger, I could not believe how dumb the world has got. You see what that says? Age is 17 and up. You gotta be 17 years old to buy a fucking keychain? But my daughter can drive a damn two-ton car that can go 100 mile an hour 
and, and work at Subway, but she can't buy a, a fucking keychain with a hockey mask on it and some fucking Kool-Aid. Look at that. Age is 17 and up. I don't know if I can get that or not. Yeah, age is 17 plus. Uh, I could see my fucking 16-year-old kid trying to buy a keychain. Like, nope. Got to have some form of ID. You're not old enough to have that keychain. I mean, what's so fucking bad about this keychain? It's just a mask. Dumbass world we live in. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But thanks a lot, Fish Camp Danny Boy from Grinder Switch, Tennessee. Uh, also, what do we got going on? Well, if I'm showing that Friday 13th stuff, I might as well show this. Uh, we showed a couple weeks ago the 1989 Friday the 13th Nintendo game. CIB, complete in box. Here is the 1990 Friday the 3rd, oh shit, Nightmare on M Street NES game. Three screw, beautiful CIB complete in box. This right here is four times rarer than the Friday the 13th. This one here is four times more expensive also. This one's expensive. The other one's three digits. This one, this box, I've seen these bad in bad shape, these boxes sell for $200 for just a box in bad shape. This is a prime, beautiful box. This has got the cartridge in it. It's got the, uh, the cartridge goes for, you can get them 50 plus. A bad cartridge, about $50. Nice cartridge, probably $100 or more. Uh, you got, the, the second most valuable thing after the box is inside the manual. The manuals go for about 80 bucks to 120 bucks for a manual for Friday 13, or for a Nightmare on M Street. And, my my Friday 13th is complete in box. This one's complete in box plus. Not only does this one have the manual, not only does this one have everything it needs to qualify as complete in box, it's got the manual, the sleeve, the cartridge, the beautiful box. But you know what else is in this? This thing still has the original warranty papers in it. It's still got the original poster that comes out where you can look at other video games and all that crap. This has everything in it, but it is beautiful. Nightmare on M Street from 1990. And this is the last video game you'll probably see on here. Because this one and the Friday 13th NES games are the only two that I care for. Uh, I don't get into the disc that much. So that is all that. Let's get to some comics, shall we? Uh, what else do I want to show? Here? Here's some little things I picked up lately. We've got this uh, uh, weird mystery number 13. Love the ghost coming in the window. Love the creepy guy looking at the dead body here. I don't know what's more creeper. This guy or, or the ghost coming in the window. And what happened to my... I got a Hulk wand somewhere around here. Let me get my Hulk wand. And of course, everything in Dopetopia is recyclable and reusable. This pen don't even work. But it's green, so I call it a Hulk wand. And I use it to demonstrate shit. So anyway, we also got a Chamber of Darkness number three. I love these Chamber of Darknesses. This ain't the best cover I've ever seen. It's hard to figure out what's going on. I can see there's a ghoul here, but somebody could have did a better ghoul. Not that great a book. I'm sorry y'all had to look at that one. Here's Chamber of Chills number 10. We got a dude frozen in ice. To me, it looks like I'm getting the, the vibes that this is a museum. I don't know why they got an ice block in the museum. But uh, this, this, this cop, he's clueless like most cops. Oh, and I just lost another 13 uh, subscribers. Anyway, Chamber of Chills, 14. Rats. When I see this, it reminds me of the, uh, if y'all listen to a heavy metal band called Ghost, they got a song called Rats. This reminds me of Rats, and every time I see it, I hear that song. Then we got the Frankenstein Monster, number three. And uh, got this beautiful redhead on here. Frankie's in love, and I think I'm in love, too. Pound that clam, Frankie. She's beautiful. Hashtag pound that clam. Anyway, and dude, this is amazing. This is amazing. Uh, one of my favorite shows used to be on Netflix. I know it's on YouTube now. Um, one of my favorite shows was a documentary on YouTube and Netflix. I think it started out on Netflix. But it's called uh, Treads. 
and it's about Killdozer. It happened on June 4th, uh, I don't even remember what year it was, 2004, I believe. And uh, it was in Colorado, and it's about this dude, and the community done him wrong, and he went in his welding shop and took his bulldozer and put metal plates all over it. And this was a huge bulldozer. He put metal plates all over it, put the gas inside, put everything inside. There was no openings, and he went around town destroying the whole town. He destroyed the courthouse. He destroyed the library. And don't worry, people. He didn't kill anybody except for himself at the end. He welded himself inside this bulldozer where nobody could get to him. And nobody could stop him. You had, you had cops out there trying to shoot a shotgun at a damn metal-plated bulldozer. Wasn't doing anything. They tried to put cars in the way like roadblocks. What is that going to do to a bulldozer? Killdozer went through the whole thing, destroyed the whole... Uh, There's people cheering for him because people like this dude and they didn't like the community. Uh, the leaders of the community, some people say they got what they deserved. Uh, you need to watch the documentary. Check it out. It's called Treads. And uh, tell me what you think about it. Leave it in the comments. But this is Killdozer. Uh, Killdozer from Marvel. It's not quite the same thing. This is this story here is like Maximum Overdrive before Maximum Overdrive. Uh, inside this comic, the bulldozer does not have a cheesy looking face. It's just a possessed bulldozer that is going around destroying everything. And they got to figure out a way to stop this possessed bulldozer called Killdozer. But also check out the documentary, Kill Dozer, on YouTube. But it's called a Treads, I think is what the actual term for it is. But it's really good. But anyway, let's look at some more stuff. i got a couple more big horror books I'm fixing to show you. Fixing to just blow your dick off. People have been looking at my Nightmare on M Street Freddy number one. And this is first appearance and all this stuff. And they've been asking about other first appearance of modern day people. And uh, this is the first Leatherface. This came out in 1991. This is a beautiful book. You can find it probably $20 or $30. First Leatherface. You got to have that in your collection. If you're a horror fan, you got to have the first Leatherface. I love the big four, and the big four to me is Leatherface, Jason, Freddy, and Michael Myers. Did you say Michael Myers? What about the first appearance of Michael Myers? Well, that is this from 2000. Uh... If you want the very first appearance of Michael Myers in comic books, you got to go back to 2000. This is Chaos Comics. Iconic cover. This one's always higher than like the Freddy, Jason, and uh, Leatherface. I mean, people want this book. I think because it's got this beautiful gray background and it's beautiful for autographs. But people like to get this one and get autographs on it. And speaking of that, here's a little nerdy fact for you. If you can get a Jamie Lee Curtis autograph... You got more power than I got, because if of all the, all the Halloween people, that's the one I'd want. I'd want Jamie Lee Curtis, and she she's at Comic Cons, but man, her, it's hard to get her autograph, and it's hard to get her autograph for cheap too. Uh, if you're just going to buy one, because everything she autographs is expensive. But anyway, hope you like my horror shit for today. Hopefully, you didn't get too offended by what I got to say, but I'm keeping it real. If you did get offended, hit that damn unlike button, man. Don't put up with that shit. But if you did like what I got to say. Hit that subscribe button, hit that uh, like button, and, uh, you know, keep on keeping on. You know what I'm saying? Until the next time, read your comics, baby!